We are very grateful for your charming hospitality and for the generous reception we have had everywhere since our arrival in California. That's in 1983. Queen Elizabeth II came to the West Coast for a memorable 10-day trip. There she is in San Francisco with President Reagan. She visited California cities up and down the coast, including San Diego, Palm Springs, Yosemite. Here's the Queen inside the California legislature in Sacramento uh, asking various lawmakers about how our system works. We want to show you now the Queen inside L.A. City Hall with then L.A. Mayor Tom Bradley as her guide. But her guide for most of that trip was the then President of the United States, Ronald Reagan, who knew a thing or two about this state. Joining us now is Melissa Giller. She is the Chief Marketing Officer for the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute based at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley. Melissa, welcome to The Issue Is, and it's amazing you're joining us from the Oval Office. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, you win in terms of perhaps best Zoom background. Uh, and of course, if you go to the Reagan Library, you can see that uh, for yourself. Uh, you Melissa, sure if you would, take us behind the scenes of this trip, which was unusually rainy for California. Of course, we're in the middle of a drought right now, but at that point, they were not. That's right. So in June of 1982, uh, the Queen and Prince Philip hosted President and Mrs. Reagan at Windsor. And so President and Mrs. Reagan wanted to return the favor. And in February and March of 1983, they came out for a 10-day uh, trip to the West Coast. They were supposed to do the entire thing on their yacht, the Britannia. And as you said, this was not a drought. There was such torrential downpour that they couldn't even get into the ports on their yacht. So uh, the president and Mrs. Reagan first hosted the Queen and Prince Philip at Rancho del Cielo in the San Ynez Mountains. And she had a fly in um, to no clear to the nearest airport and then drive the seven miles up the very muddy, windy road. They almost didn't make it. And um, when they finally got there, the president apologized, you know, oh, you know, to the queen, I'm so sorry. And she said, oh, it was an adventure, um, which really was her personality, I think, which is why the president enjoyed her company so much. Um, but then a couple of days later on the president, and Mrs. Reagan's wedding anniversary, the queen did host them on the Britannia and actually gave them a wedding anniversary gift, which they cherish and is actually on display here in the private quarters of the Reagan Library. What was the gift? a silver engraved box with their names and the date of, uh, of their meeting. Oh, very cool. Uh, of course, Her Majesty met with 13 U.S. presidents, but it's obvious she was especially close with President Reagan. Some of the reporting says that he was really her favorite. Uh, can you give us some insight into their personal dynamic? Because they wrote to each other as well. So, yes, you know, President Reagan loved to write um, Everyone, every every diplomatic leader, you know, members of Congress, the general public, he loved to write letters, and the Queen uh, did write back. They had a great relationship. Um, the president called her delightful, warm, charming, caring. He wrote these things in his personal diaries, um, in his autobiography. He talks about them. He says one of his favorite memories of his presidency was landing in a helicopter at Windsor to meet the Queen. Of all the things he could choose, that's what he chose. They had a very personal relationship. It wasn't just diplomatic in nature. They formed a friendship um, that really lasted the whole time they knew each other. All right, they did eventually get onto the yacht for a little while during that trip. And, and we found some video, which I don't think you've even seen yet, which is know. from her yacht. This is where President Reagan uh, wants some decaf coffee. And we all get to be like a fly on the wall. So, so listen into how this works. This is like the queen, but for real. Do you have any decaffeinated coffee? It's just coming through. It's coming. Oh. I mean, as, uh, you know, we're, we're, we, you know, we do, we try our best. <laughs> she takes, takes control there. It's like, it's, it's that like might be the best thing I've seen all week. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so clearly they both love coffee, uh, but they also uh, loved horses. Uh, they didn't get to ride horses during that California trip because of the crazy weather, but they did get to ride horses together in the UK. Yeah, and I really think that's where their bond first formed. When the president and Mrs. Reagan did go to Windsor in uh, 1982, the Queen and Ronald Reagan, I see the picture there, uh, rode horses. Um, and what you don't see in that picture is right behind them was a horse-drawn carriage that brought Prince Philip and Mrs. Reagan following behind. 
Um, he <laughs> loved his time there with the Queen and so hoped he could return the favor at Rancho del Cielo. But as you said, the, the rain and the wind um, didn't permit it. But that was one of his favorite memories. And it is wild to think, except for Lyndon Johnson, the Queen met with every president of the United States from Harry Truman to Joe Biden. And they all loved her. You know, there isn't much that Donald Trump and Joe Biden uh, agree on, but they both seem to really love the queen. How do you think she pulled that off? Why is that? You know, her English charm, her diplomatic skills, she just, she was everyone, you know, she's the queen mom. She's everyone's mom. She's everyone's grandmother, just a lovely, warm lady. And if you know, how can you not just be charmed by her? You know, as President Reagan once said to her, you know, our two countries share more than just a common language. You know, a lot of our values, our beliefs, um, even how we run our government was formed on their soil. And so we have this common bond, the United States and, you know, Great Britain. And I think all of the presidents of the United States see that. And again, she's just was one of the warmest people in the stories I've heard about her are just lovely, and how could you not but fall in love with her? And isn't it wild that our entire government was formed to get away from the British royal family, and yet the person that all of the presidents are most excited to meet is the queen, right? right? It's right. like going back home to mom. I think there's some aspect of that for our country. Uh, Melissa, great stories, thanks so much. Of course, you can check out more on the queen if you go to visit the Reagan Library out in Simi Valley, and it's such a spectacular place to go. Uh, we will have more on the queen still to come. But in honor